I have devoted four years of my life to this school and yesterday it was like being a character in a video game and just being deleted. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Clevy and it is so nice to meet you. You guys, a few weeks ago, if you are on X, if you are on Twitter, you might have come across, you know, this particular video of a teacher who was gently, you know, challenging a student who said that Harry Potter's author, you know, J.K. Rowling was bigoted. And I am talking about Warren Smith and this, he went viral. It went viral. And I think it really, you know, made all of us, he educated us in a way that made us know that you don't have to start you know, accepting some popular opinions. You have to think about those things critically. And you would agree with me, like some of us, we went ahead and started following him. I mean, I did, you know, I just wanted to see his journey because I was like, he seems like an interesting teacher that I would, you know, love to follow along on the journey. Yesterday, I got this notification from his channel and I'm like, did I read that correctly? It is titled, Getting Fired from My School. And I would think the first thing that came to my head was, could it be because of that video? You guys, let's go ahead and watch this. So it happened yesterday. I was fired from my full-time teaching position. Oof. Not going to, I, it happened so quick. It happened like five minutes. There was, really no conversation so they clearly knew what they wanted to do so it's not so i don't think the and it wasn't i wasn't really, given a chance to explain I, himself I'm not, because there's so little clarity on all of this i'm really trying not to i i'm not interested in divulging any thing i had there's no utility in that i never have <laughs> i never will um i think i have a right to articulate that I just lost my job and my basic observations, my life experience, there's no NDA. Oof. So when you say we appreciate you not divulging, I, I don't know if that means that you're threatening my severance package. I really hope not. I don't, I don't even know what the severance package is. I'm still waiting, but anyways, it was a bummer to lose my computer like that too. This could have been done. I understand if you disagree with me voicing opinions on YouTube or feeling like that's, it's easier just to get rid of that. I understand. Okay. To get rid of a teacher like that. And I, I accept that. Um, sometimes how you do it though is important. And I think this could have been done without just taking my computer and losing a book that I've been writing for two years. You multiple things I've been writing for two years, all the data for from two years, my digital life. Just I have my crypto accounts open. I have my my access to a plethora of my information at your fingertips. I really hope that oh, you just do the right thing. Because honestly, I just want to be I. I I hope I never see you again, and I just want to live my life. I oh, really wow. am not interested in you guys. Good luck to you. I have devoted four years of my life to this school, and yesterday it was like being a character in a video game and just being deleted. And mm. the rest, it's like you were never there. It was mm. remarkable by people that love to pretend they're your teammates and. Ah, uh, it's, wow. this is just my perspective on things, but, wow. and so the, the reason was, <laughs> the reason I was, we don't trust you to not divulge information on online or upload online. Well, I've never divulged anything. I was, I've, <laughs> Dave Rubin, Dr. Drew, hours of podcasts and not once did I ever cross any of the parameters that you laid out, that your lawyers laid out, and I, I even praised you oh, for and thank you for making brother lawyer. that so clear, objectively recognizing what the rules were. There was no rules broken. You even said congratulations. 
the only time I've seen you in person this past year was maybe a week after that. Oh my goodness, it's our celebrity. What's on the docket? What up, Any upcoming events? Interviews? That was a quote, and you know it. <laughs> Yesterday, it was like a different person. Mm. So, And I understand that had Elon Musk not tweeted that video, <laughs> it wouldn't go viral. I probably, Definitely. this would have happened probably with the last four months ago when this initially happened. So all the, the interpretation that I thought was objective mm. seems to be malleable and subjective. Mm. And it seems to just be a matter of how something is received, depending which way the wind's blowing. If it mm. if it's blows one way, then... <laughs> It's bad if it blows this way and it's in your favor, or there's eyeballs, if there's enough attention on it, mm. then you'll just wait until that blows over. And I kind of, logically, I, I expect that that'll be honest, but you're never quite prepared for it when you devote four years to something and the floor is pulled out Ooh. and there's that sense of falling. Thank you all for your support. Oh. I don't regret trying. It's, it can be challenging when you have a job that you love and all the dynamics that come with that and a clique of people that aren't happy with you going way back and then things complicate and snowball and then they rise in power and it's just you're trying to navigate all that and at the same time something comes along and you know that if you don't try and make the most of it and just do your best with, with both that you'll regret it. So you try mm. and walk that line and, and, and juggle both. And it's hard when you, try, when you do it alone and you don't have, I can't think of a single time in the last four months that a single colleague, leadership, any of the principals, any of these people have ever, how's the YouTube channel, channel going? How are you doing? Is there any clarity we can offer? You just reference a, another five minute meeting four months ago. In a one sentence email from four months ago when I was in the middle of this storm trying to navigate all this, it can be challenging navigating all this on your own. And <laughs> best damn believe I've been doing my best. So anything that any perceived wrong that you may have <laughs> was not intentional. I have done my best. And it's a shame that but this was coming for a while and I know mm. it. So we'll see where it goes. From here, thank you all. Thank you so much too. Thank goodness oh. for Weequil. That I, <sighs> it's just this and Weequil now to try and make the most of those. So I'm going all in. Thank you for your support. <laughs> oh, sorry. This has been just a bit ranty. Yo, are you serious? Oh, thank God you declined. Thank God you declined. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? The next day I was offered additional payments to sign a document preventing me from ever speaking about what happened. Thank God you declined. Wait, I want to understand something quickly. Isn't it the point of education to teach you know the next generation how to think critically? If you can still remember that video, this man, this teacher, was just so careful with his language. He was just so careful with his language about when he was being asked about, you know, the, the, the J.K. Rowling situation. He was just so careful bringing out fair point and, yo, honestly, I hope this teacher will receive a lot of support. I hope he, he goes on to bigger and greater things. But it is, yo, four months ago, and this is happening just because that video goes viral. If you've seen any of his, of his interviews, you would understand what he's talking about right now. Uh, it's so sad. It's so sad that this is happening. I hope he will continue to teach 
because this is a kind of teacher I would love to have. I would, yo, if I was in school and you asked me to pick a teacher, I would choose him. Do you understand? Like, I hope you will continue to teach. This is actually so sad. And it, it is. Just imagine. Yo, I hope it gets a lot of support. I hope it doesn't leave YouTube. I hope it still continues to do what he knows how to do best, even here on this platform. Wishing you all the best, Warren Smith. And yo, you earned my respect. You did. Thank you.